Hey guys, John here. Today we're in the Arturia Mini Freak V, and I've made a patch called Big Tongue, which is very weird because I don't really write tongues in patch names. Anyway, this sounds like a tongue to me, but it's also distorted. That's why it's big. So anyway, here we go. This sounds something kind of like this. Okay, so if you're interested in making this patch and you're first still here, let's go ahead and start making this. And like I was saying before in the last couple of videos, we're gonna be using external compression and external reverb for this type of sound. Okay, so with that being said, let's turn off these effects here in house. Let's go to our channel, disable our compressor and also turn off our reverb. So we have something kind of like this. <laughs> so much less inspiring. I love how that happens. Okay, so with that said, let's go ahead to the other guy and let's go new presets. Let's make sure we have everything bypassed. Okay, so we're good. So here, what we need to first do is on the master, I did crank this up to one deep, so I guess we can go ahead and do that, you know. Every deep counts. So the first offset is gonna be this car plus. So let's go down here and select car plus. Now, this is gonna be a little bit different, right? We have this kind of sound. Which is actually a very cool offset. I highly recommend to play with this one. Make some really cool string sounds. Okay, anyway, so our bow is gonna be, I think all the way down or pretty close to it, 2.4. And then our position, 55.6. And we're making the tongue, by the way. 55.6, we have that here. Was no, I think it was 55.6, my goodness. Okay, there we go. And then our decay is gonna be all the way down. So that's what's giving us our tongue, right? Making a tongue with John, that's the, that's what you're doing right now. Okay, next up we have the super wave. So for now we can turn this volume here all the way down so we can kind of focus on the other guy. So this one's gonna be the super wave. Let's bring this guy down. So we have this here. So we're gonna be using the sequencer. So let's go ahead and turn this off for now. We're gonna to get to that in just a little bit. So this is the waveform that we're going, super wave. The wave's gonna be all the way to the bottom at saw, which we can clearly see. Detune 47, I think I moved that from 47.0. So I believe that's default, right? Yep, default there. So, and then this guy, the volume for the voices, 65.5, which is default. So really all we have to do is just increase this to 55.2. And there we go. And we can bring this volume back up, which it was at 100%. So let's bring this up. Okay, we have a couple of things more left to go through. We have some filters and some fun stuff. Okay, so now let's check out our filter, right? So we have 86 or 86, I was gonna say 86 points, something, but 86, something like that here, 86. And our resonance is 58. Now our envelope amount's gonna be 18. Now we should also check out the envelope and see what's that doing under the advanced tab. We're using this main envelope here, so I don't believe too much has changed aside from a little bit of the sustain and release, but let's go ahead and double check that. So our attack should be zero, 50, and then our sustain 38 and 26. So 38, 26, so 38, and then 26 for the release. Something like that here. Now we did forget to change this tuning here, so that's negative 12, so let's go ahead and bring that down to negative 12, so down one octave, and the five cents is cool. Okay, so we're in a pretty good spot here. Okay, so for this for this guy, we're really not doing too much modulation as we don't really need to do that much of that here. So we can do the effects, but let's do go ahead and do the sequencer first because it's really kind of quick to do this. So hop into the sequencer tab. And for this guy, we're gonna be using the ARP and we're gonna be using the random order and plus two octaves, which is pretty nice. So ARP and the random and then plus two. 
we get something like that. You can change it's like up, down, whatever kind of order you want to do it, but random's kind of cool. They're pretty identical. Okay, so that's all you really have to do in the, in, uh, in the sequencer page. So go back to home and let's start working on our effects. So back to home. And this our first effect is going to be a chorus. So without, it sounds like this. And then with. That makes it just a little bit nicer. So we're going to be on default rate 4.5, depth 62, which I believe is going to be default. So let's turn on our chorus. 4.5, 62, and then our dry wet's going to be, what are we here? Did we change this? Nope, we just got to pop this on, which is pretty simple. And, and that's what I like about a lot of our tree stuff. Like you don't really have to change too much of the, uh, of the effects to have a cool uh, sound. And I think they did a lot of, uh, I guess, work to make them sound kind of good, but not too much or not too little. Because that's really the only amount of course, at least for this patch that we would need. Sometimes you got to give a little more gas, but anyway. Okay, so next up on our second effects bank, we're going to turn this on and we're going to be on delay. And this preset is going to be ping pong sync. So let's go ahead to our second delay or second effects delay and then ping pong sync. So what do we do over here? We did one over eight feedback 37. So one over eight. And then feedback is going to be 37, oh, something like that. And then I believe our level is the same at 50. So here we go. And this patch is a lot of fun if you just play in key and just play a lot of different notes and then the ARP kind of just does the rest for you. Okay, so our last effect, so originally when I made this patch, I kind of added the reverb and I was like, this is cool, but doing the external reverb and compression makes it a way cooler patch, Because and then now we can actually use distortion. So it kind of just sounds a little bit nastier in that sense. So let's go to the third one, turn this on, and we're gonna go to distortion, and germanium is gonna be our uh, preset type, and then for gain, 100, and then no low pass or high pass, and I don't think we really changed anything here, so, you, oh no, we brought it down just a little bit, so to, from 20 to 18, and we have this. Okay, so that's all we really have to do in the synth itself pretty much the same here. Okay, so now is it going to be the time where we're going to start dialing in some compression. So on our first one, let's go ahead and enable or unbypass our compressor. And it just brings us right into our face. So pretty cool. So let's go ahead and do this to the second one. So for this compressor, I fall in love with this compressor. So this is Presswerk from Yuhi. One of my favorite compressors I have honestly ever used. So we can go to a nit preset. And like I was kind of showing the other videos, there's a lot of cool stuff we can do here, a lot of cool options that we need to. But for this case, what's really nice is on these different views, we can go to easy compressor and we just have four knobs and a button, which is kind of nice. And also there's other ones too, if you ever want to check those out. So we have like different bus compressors, we have limiters, stuff like that. Definitely very cool to check out. So for this guy, what we're going to be doing is maybe a ratio of four to one, which is going to be fine. We don't need something too crazy. And then bring our threshold all the way up and maybe a little bit faster response because this is kind of a, a quick ARP, right? Especially if right now we're at 140 BPM and then maybe some soft clip or something like that. And I guess move our threshold to see where we feel is right. And we are, uh, yeah, we're, we're not bypassed. Okay, so that's pretty much set up here like it is. It's easy compressor. It's not really much you have to do to that. So for the last thing, we're going to be adding some reverbs of Valhalla Vintage Verb and go ahead and screen grab these settings if you like these. So depending on the sound that you're going for, I do like the dirty plate for a lot of synth stuff. You can also go on concert hall depending on whatever you like. But yeah, this is what I'm using in this video right there. So let's go ahead and give it a little bit less because that's kind of a lot out of the gate. So this is what we got now. Be a little bit less reverb, I think. It might be a little much there. And with a drum behind it. I think we did. did we add something over here? No, we did not. Very good. So let's go ahead and check this out.
<laughs> but yeah, that patch is a lot of fun to play with. So if you want to get this patch for free, there's a link in the video description below and a big tongue can be yours. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you learned something and we'll see you in the next video.